I just want to give a quick demo of uh, controlling my Tesla from my watch using the if this then that service. Um, so I run a, uh, a daemon or a little service on a digital ocean box on the internet um, and that basically converts if this then that calls to owner API calls for the Tesla API using the maker channel. Um, so then what you can do is you can create in the if this then that app on your phone or on your desktop, you can create what's called a button. So tie a button to a, an action. So I've tied uh, a button to locking and unlocking my Tesla. So right now my watch is not connected to my directly to my phone. You'll see there um, it's got a little symbol for the Wi-Fi. So it's actually connected. It's disconnected from the watch on Bluetooth, and it's connected to the watch at the moment using Wi-Fi only. So I don't have my don't have my phone with me and I don't have my keys to the Tesla. So what I can do is I can launch the If This Then That app um, and then I can call, uh, I want to do Unlock Tesla. So I'll click on Unlock Tesla. Uh, it will use the Wi-Fi now to talk to my phone, which will then call out to If This Then That, which will call uh, Digital Ocean, which will call the owner's API. So there's a bit of a delay, but there you go, unlocked. I can now get into my Tesla. Um, and of course, I can now also call uh, lock Tesla, which will do the, the same thing again. So my watch will connect to the Wi-Fi. There we go. Off to the owner's API, um, and then eventually over to America. And there we go. Locked Tesla. No longer opening doors. Um, so that's just a quick demo. So that's, I mean, that's just using the, only using the if this, then that uh, app on the phone and, and obviously on the watch. Initially, I wrote it uh, as a gateway for the Google Assistant, which is available on the new Pixel phones and the Google Home uh, gateway device. Um, and so in the If This Then That app, you can create Google Assistant triggers. Um, but in this case, I'm demoing what's called a button trigger. And the button trigger adds these extra, uh, these extra buttons to your actual watch. So I've got other ones there, for instance, to turn on and off lights which are straight LifeX connections. And I've also got one that toggles my garage door. Um, that one's a bit slower because it's got to connect back to my home. So it goes out to if this, then that, and then uh, calls back to my home automation API. So there's a bit more of a latency, but uh, it will eventually work. It's just, there we go. <laughs> it's a bit noisy. Yeah, so that one takes a bit longer simply because it's got to connect back to my home connection over my uh, NBN connection. So basically that call calls out to if this, then that in America, which then has to come back to my home connection here. So there's a you know one or two second delay in that API call. Um, and then of course, uh, there's only a Raspberry Pi in my home that does those API calls. So it's not, not super powerful, but it does the job. So yeah, that's a quick demo of uh, using the uh, if this then that to control your Tesla.